Hello again folks it's me Matt Simmons. Thanks for joining me today. So yes, once again I have decided to use this stupid computer generated voice to do my video today. Looks like I am just doing this whole YouTube thing wrong. Robot channels are killing it right now, and I thought it was rather fitting for the topic I am going to discuss today. For those of you who are very confused, triggered or upset over the fact that I am not just using my voice, you are missing the meme entirely, I feel sorry for you. Ha ha ha. So let's talk about drones and fancy planes that make us all think Skynet is going to ruin our day. Interestingly enough, the world of drone technology is expanding like a fat kid in a candy shop. But it's interesting when the world gets so excited about new drones, because let's be honest they are just freaking cool. However, sometimes I feel the defense industry hypes things up that really are not overly special. Today's aircraft of wonder is no exception to this, we all know of the Reaper and Predator drones. They are showcased in movies, in world news controversy and fighter pilots get very hot under the collar. When you speak of them, they are slender gray warbirds that have more technology in them than an F-35. Well, maybe. The drone market is exploding though, and the sleek and slim combat drones will now have a fat ugly sister that will help provide them some REMF support. Yes, the US Navy has decided to add a new drone to their fleet of aircraft. A fuel tanker. I was a little taken back when I saw this aircraft, because honestly it looks like an F-35 and a B-2 bomber had a fugly baby. The MQ-25 program is an unmanned refueling aircraft that is designed to extend the range of the carrier-based fighters far beyond their normal capabilities. It's nicknamed the Stingray, which is rather fitting for the way it looks. But don't let looks deceive you, it's still for now just a fat fuel-carrying support drone. However a recent video has been released to showcase its features that really was made very well. I love seeing defense contractors like Lockheed Martin make promotional videos because they are always very well done. But in this video we see some differences you wouldn't normally see. One which worries me. The automatic taxi system it features. Just before we go any further. I would like to mention that my free 10 minutes of voice generation is over. So now I will sound even more like a mong with this low rate robot voice. Instead of the premium one. Just like the Google self driving cars, we see that these aircraft are no different in the application of this technology. But unlike the Google cars that are sending soccer mums speeding into intersections on red lights, this new feature is supposed to increase readiness to the carrier. Now remember folks, this is a fuel tanker, so it makes sense to have it sent out by a click of a button like a pizza delivery to the fleet. But I see some risk with this feature. The flight deck is just as busy as a stripper pole in Hamburg, and I am worried that this feature could have some horrible accidents on the deck. Sensors can fail. And if it isn't calibrated right you are going to make a mess on the working deck of the carrier. Of course the aircraft is still controlled in some way by a pilot or manager. But it only takes a couple of feet of mistakes to ruin the whole damn flight deck. Especially when it's literally a flying Molotov cocktail. When first looking at the drone it screams stealth. But does it though? The aircraft was basically given no requirements to be in a stealth platform configuration. But the aircraft does have its own potential to use its design of stealth for other missions it could be tasked for. But the reality is that this aircraft directly emanated from the debunked unmanned carrier launched airborne surveillance and strike program. Sadly it never came to be and now this aircraft will still have some enhanced stealth survivability as it does its task. However I think some Navy fighters may just really want to shoot it down for taking the jobs of other pilots. Just kidding they will probably just taunt the poor bugger who is flying it. I can see it now back at the carrier where he is watching F-18 fighters pull loops around it. In all seriousness this seems like a lot of money and technology for something that is delivering gas to the fleet. However the drone may have other roles. The aircraft is highly functional to be upgraded to other roles such as, laundry service, mail delivery, Wi-Fi access, clay pigeon shooting, spying on nude beaches and doing beer runs. 
I can imagine it now, one of these things landing on the parking lot of Walmart and picking up a bunch of groceries for the carrier which would include mass loads of lubricant. For the carrier elevators of course. The drone also makes me wonder if we are going to have another contender for making these things. I mean Amazon has a great role in trying to make drones to deliver packages. They could quite easily just make a drone for the US Navy to deliver fuel. Except the drone would never get to the fighters on time and deliver it to the Russians or Chinese instead. But at least the carrier would be able to watch Amazon Prime TV as they go to battle. We could look at it from another perspective too. This aircraft is freeing up pilots who could be tasked with other missions. I don't think many pilots would give up that chance to fly that role. But at least it would save some money that could be used elsewhere. In the end, the UCLASS program had a lot of potential to make a drone that could do a whole lot more. I think with the MQ-25 Stingray, we are going to see this potential come back to the forefront. I hope you enjoyed today's video folks and if you did, please leave me a like and a comment. Thanks so much for watching and if you wish to support my channel please go check out my Patreon account. All the best and have a wonderful day. You bunch of mongs.